Hey guys, what is up? Welcome, welcome back. My name is Tess. Today's video is going to be the new Pat McGrath Highlighter the Balm Duo and also the blush color balm, cream blushes from Pat McGrath. If you are interested in today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share it with your friends. I really, really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I got two of the new um, Pam McGrath cream blushes. You guys know I am a cream blush whore, so I gotta try out this formula for myself. I got two shades and one of the uh, highlighter balm duo. This is actually the most I'm interested in. I've never owned anything highlighter related stuff from Pam McGrath. I do have her blushes, powder blushes. I do enjoy those. But 2022 and 2023 are basically cream blushes for me, mainly. This is not first impression. I have been wearing these uh, blushes for the past two days. Did a little wear test clip for you guys, letting you guys know how it wear. And you'll see in the video. And so before we start, I just want to quickly go through what I'm wearing for the base. I put a little bit of the ColourPop Tinted Moisturizer. This is Light 7W and the Try and True Armani Luminous Cell Concealer on the under eyes. I'm zooming you guys closer, let's go ahead and swatch the shade Peach Lotus. I wore it right away the first day I received it. Let's go ahead and swatch it here. Um, I did use my finger the first day. Um, it does blend out quite easily, but I, today I do really want to uh, try the blush uh, brush application. My skin has been so dry. Oh, by the way, on the last video where I try out the NARS, I'm going to pop up a picture that I shot on the screen and I'm gonna zoom you guys in also so you guys can see um, for some reason that the NARS liquid blush is just uneven on my skin and you can see a little bit of a patch build up quite nice like a warm peachy coral i noticed a patch again um i didn't really experience it i didn't even experience it the first day i didn't really experience any patchiness or anything but why is it i'm sitting down to film it just looks weird maybe it's my skin it just has been acting up these days but i don't know if you guys can see there's a weird um patch here maybe it's my skin maybe i'm tripping i haven't seen any people mention it's being patchy I don't know. Why is it doing this? And I was gonna switch to studio lighting to let you see the patch. But I was watching the footage, you guys definitely see it was not even when I first apply. But I think it kind of melts into the skin. I give it a minute. It doesn't look as patchy. You guys can let me know. I mean, if I really wanna nitpick, I can see a little bit of the unevenness still in this area. I didn't really like notice it because yesterday I didn't really wear any skin tint or anything. I just used it on my bare face. I didn't really notice like the unevenness, but today I do. And I haven't really seen anyone mention this. So I thought, you know, this is my experience. And this is the shade Peach Lotus. Okay, the next shade we're going to try is Floral Teak. It kind of just looks like a uh, dark rose color. Okay, so let me swatch the Peach Lotus right next to it. Okay, so this is the Peach Lotus. Normally, this type of shades I just love. And I'm going to swatch Floral Teak for you on this side. Let's try the finger first. I didn't really notice anything yesterday. I was wearing this shade, but honestly, I was not wow. 
by this formula or this color. Um, my thought kind of feel like this reminds me of ColourPop blush sticks. And I honestly love the ColourPop formula so much better. I never experienced any patchiness. I think this is more on the hydrating balmy side. The ColourPop feels a little drier. The finish is definitely a natural finish. You see like there's another patch here. So uh, I'm just going to use the brush. I'm going into the... Sephora number 47 brush. It does seem to be applying better with this brush. Still slightly um, a little uneven, not gonna lie. Not the smoothest. You, you see what I'm saying? There's like a patch again. Again, I don't know what's going on. Is it my skin? We're gonna go back to try the Mario blush again because that formula is glorious and I got two more shades, just saying. But yeah, this is the shade Floral Teak. It's all right. It kind of reminds me of the Mirror Beauty blush. Um, what shade is this? I'm gonna pop it on the screen. It kind of reminds me of that like wine color. Um, it will look pretty if you just like don't have a ton of makeup on and then you just put this as a blush and a lip color moment but i don't know i it, it look okay on my skin tone uh, if you are very pale i think this will look really really pretty on you or even deeper skin tone but on my warm leaning skin tone fair light warm leaning i don't know this is not really my thing. This is the shade Floral Teak. So you do get 7 grams of product, quite a bit in here. And um, consider the, the highlighter dual balm, you don't get a whole lot. The highlighter is 4 grams, honestly. I was a little shocked when I see how much product I get that that's it that that is all the product I get for the highlighter balm the other side is three grams even smaller amounts honestly this is just not enough product but again I probably will never go through a whole tube just you know letting you guys know you know I don't wear this type of stuff every single day hey I just take them off and I'm going to just apply a dot, blend it out really quickly, and then we can apply the balm. I'm just gonna pat, pat, pat. Just also to let you guys know, um, I have a couple dry patches these days. The desert is really not doing my dry skin any flavor, so the blush application might not be as smooth. That could be part of the reason. I just want to throw it out there. If you have texture, that might be something to think about. If you don't have any texture, you probably don't need to worry about it too much. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and apply the highlighter balm. I really enjoyed it. I used it the first day that it arrived. Let's go ahead and swatch in the shade, uh, the, the highlighter cyber lotus shade it honestly just feels a, li a little gritty because it is gym packed with uh, multi-dimensional glitter again if you're not glitter highlighter type of a girl just to think about it you know you might not really like it it is one of those like kind of novelty editorial type products I, I don't necessarily think it is for everyone you guys can see if you it does get patchy if you apply with your finger it can get a little uneven okay i'm just gonna apply a little more because i feel like the finger kind of remove the finger kind of remove the highlighter i'm just gonna do a brush to lightly pat 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 there is a lot of glitter, but it does look really cool under the sunlight. So yeah, it is that type of uh, formula. Balmy. 
glitter packed a little patchy not gonna lie but you know it is kind of what it is if you're not really in the market for like a really glittery type of a balmy highlighter this may not be your thing let me swatch it at the back of my hand for you it is gem pack with a lot of the glitter particles to show you guys under the sunlight it does really look really cool and pretty under the sunlight i do enjoy it for like editorial purposes apply pretty gritty you can feel the grit the glitter grits on the skin let's go ahead and do the balm side the balm basically has absolutely no pigment it's just a clear balm with a little bit of shimmer little specks of shimmer i'm gonna show you guys under the sun too so you guys can see better um this lighting really is not doing it for me i'm so sorry but yeah and this is just a balm that's gonna give you a little bit of a glow like you, you guys can see it really just gives you a really pretty glow you know this is for my editorial girls out there or dry skin girls you like the look that is kind of the look that it's going to give okay you guys that is pretty much it for me today i'm going to insert a clip of my wear test hey guys so i am about wearing this blush for five hours I put the balm, highlighter balm down first and then I layer the peach lotus shade. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell there are some missing patches but it might just be me like scratching off because um, my face was itchy earlier. Um, on this side it looks better. Yeah, 5 hour wear. The washers are still on. And yeah, I thought I would include this little clip here so you guys have an idea. And I think um, it does feel very like balmy, highlighty because I put the highlighter balm down. But if you don't want it to be as glowy, I think just using it at its own is not, it's just more like a natural finish. And also you guys probably can see the little glitter specks on the cheeks because I did put a lot of the highlighter on yeah if you don't like the glittery stuff on your highlight or on your cheeks I mean personally I am pretty used to it like I am okay with it I mean it is a moment you know sometimes you do want that really extra shine on camera um, or shooting some fun looks it is very pretty um, but on the day-to-day, -day, if you don't like this type of uh, glittery spa uh, uh, particles on the cheeks, maybe that's something for you to think about. And The color did last on me, but also um, the hair will definitely stick on your face. It is a balm. There are balmy texture and doesn't completely like dry down. If you are not into this kind of... Uh, blush that doesn't dry down they kind of really don't and they do stay on the skin a little balmy like yeah that's kind of just my thought because when i was scratching my face I, I can see pieces of my blush just like came off my face so that's kind of my experience wearing these blushes um, 29 dollars honestly it's not worth it in my opinion there are so many cream blushes out there in the past two years i have tried a ton of cream blush formula these are i will say not my favorite honestly i'm a little shocked i thought she would come out with something glorious i thought i would just like fall head over heels in love with these they're okay i'm not blown away or anything the color selection was a-okay for me at least these two colors they're not anything that i've never seen before didn't feel like it's super pretty on me i don't know you guys can comment down below let me know the application was a little uneven granted it might be my dry patches that could be a factor 
so you guys need to consider if you do have textured skin it might look a little uneven on you um, they don't really dry down completely so if you have your hair flopping around they might take away some blushes they do last on the skin quite well at least yesterday i wore floral teak it did last a good, good eight hours on me so if you're worried about longevity these do last and let's quickly chat about the highlighter duo i enjoy these but there's no way it is 58 dollars worth four grams of the highlighter three grams of the clear shimmery balm the packaging is pretty luxe heavy um, metal packaging metal maybe metal i don't know it feels like metal enjoy the packaging of this so much more honestly 58 dollars definitely not worth the price but it is pat mcgrath take it how you will highlighter is definitely gem packed with glitter you can feel the grit on the skin for sure but again it is really pretty under the sunlight if you're going for that like glittery dewy like vampire skin type of moment they are really pretty i can't really say they're not pretty application will be a little troublesome a little uneven if that's something that you are not into you might hate these the eight dollars definitely pricey so yeah that's kind of my thoughts on this lounge like i'm not feeling a thousand percent like overjoyed a little let down slightly underwhelmed so that's kind of my thoughts thank you guys so so much for watching if you have not subscribed i really really love for you to subscribe comment down below let me know if you guys are interested in these products will you be buying them or not i hope you guys find the video helpful find the swatches helpful and yeah don't forget to follow me on instagram and tiktok i love you guys i'll talk to you later